here is someone that I didn't want to telecommute. I wanted them actually here <laughs> right in the here. studio this morning. He's over there in the kitchen. It is Chef Steve DeFilippo. Filippo. Filippo. I practiced it and practiced it and then I blew it. You told Steve me you were Italian too. Oh, I know. Oh, I am ashamed. My grandmother's looking at the TV going, oh, that boy. You're I so told him better than that. Blah, 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 blah. Good morning, Chef. What are you making for Good us morning. today? We're going to make gnocchi bolognese today on the first segment, and then later we're going to make some Kobe meatballs. Oh, wow. I like that. I yeah. like that. It's I am cool. not a vegetarian, really and I'm thankful for that exactly. right this second, right now. But he didn't get your name right, so that means I got to come over no there. No, right? ma'am. Yes, yes. I like that. Oh. Joining us is Chef Steve DiFilippo from the award winning Davio's Northern Italian Steakhouse. Good to have you with us, Chef. Are we going to do you. a little cooking today? We are. We're going to make some gnocchis. Uh, all right. Look, my old grandmother recipe, what we're going to do is we take some russet potatoes, you cook them in water for about 45 minutes. Or cook simple. them a bit. Yeah. Well, you, you cook it, and then what you do, this is the, the secret. You take a knife. A fork, actually, and you just scrape it like this, okay? Getting all the skin yep, off. Get the skin off, and then you put it through a ricer, okay? And you just put it through a ricer, and this is what you end up with. That you know, looks yeah. great, and this is going to yeah, be the base. We're going to actually and, make and the dough here. We're going to make the dough right now, and the thing is, what's really cool about this, it's you, you can't use gloves. You really got to get in there and feel it. Feel it's it. all about the feel. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some flour, some small purpose flour. All right, we're going to save a little bit in case we might need some at the end. Okay. And then this is our cheese, our Parmesan, a little Romano, a little mix, okay? And then a little salt and pepper. All right, and basically this is your dough, and then and then you just you just kind of mix this together, and it feels so nice. I wish you could. You want to feel it? I'm sure. Okay. Right, this you is a, feel, the yeah. quite. We're having quite yeah. the intimate yeah. sort yeah. of feel, uh, feel my dough sort yeah. of. All right, good. Yeah. Doesn't that feel great? It's good. Yeah, okay, All right. that's enough feeling. All right, thank you. Okay, okay, hands okay. off. And then. Yeah, here's the dough. Thank you, sir. Uh, and so then what we're going to do is we get it all together, and then we're going to make a little circle here. Okay. Have you ever made pasta before? I have made pasta before. We're going to put our yeah. egg right in that yeah. circle, if I remember very correctly. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Put the egg in there. Okay. All right. And then we're just going to mix it all together. You know, we have a quick segment here, so we're just going to. What we do is you just get it all together, and you make a big ball. Okay. All right. Did you have Italian food when you were a kid? Did you grow up? I did, but I didn't make it by hand. We'd always go to Grandma's house, the Italian food would be done. The manicotti would be ready, the lasagna would be. Well, you're half German, right? So did you have I have, I am half German. No, my mom is the German side, and she's an amazing Italian cook. So I was surrounded by it. All right, so that we get to show everybody what we do, what do we end up with here after we get our nice big ball like this? Then you want it to sit, okay? Okay. All right. It does start to come together quite nicely there. Yeah, I'll just, you know, it takes like five minutes, you know, obviously. But and sadly, and we don't minute, have that, and, 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 so we should two, probably... In a, a two-minute segment, yeah. That's yeah, it, exactly. Okay? And then what we do is, this is the finished product here, okay? Very nice. All right, do you remember, do you remember the towel You absolutely can. There yeah. you go. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, these are already cooked for us, all right? And what we're going to do is, we're just going to throw them right in the sauce. Okay. So they can go right in, because the potato yep. was cooked, so they, they're cooked. Correct. Yep. And then I'm just going to stir this in? Yeah, just, just stir it around. All right. And what is in our meat sauce here? It, well, what we do is our bolognese, it's pork, beef, and veal. Wow. All right, a little carrots, a little onions, a little marinara sauce. Wow, look uh, at that. Ba fresh basil. And then we're just going to put a little here so you and I can have some. All right. Do you trust so, me to plate this up? If you I want to, go Okay, ahead. I'm going to just plate this up for us. Look at that. And this is a real, this is like, com this is like Italian comfort yeah, food. Yeah, very comfortable. Very hearty. Yeah. Very good on a nice uh, chilly night. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, I'm going to try this during the break. When we come back, we're going to do uh, meatballs, right? Meatballs. Co well, we're going to step it up a little bit. We're going to do Kobe beef. So instead Kobe. of just pork and, pork and veal, we're going to uh, add some pork. I nice, mean, uh, some high pork end Kobe. beef. All right, we're going to take a break and we're going to try that next. I'm going to try the gnocchi during the break. Yes, we're making a delicious Italian meal. We made a little gnocchi bolognese before the break. Yes. And now we're going to step it up a little bit with some great yeah. meatballs. Well, we're going to use my grandmother's recipe of how to make meatballs, okay? And instead of just using hamburger, we're going to use Kobe meat. Okay. okay. So Kobe meat has a little more fat to it, uh, so it's a lot more flavor. So it's a little, it. different, a little different. So this is the Kobe meat here. Okay. Little, and of course, a little, some, little more expensive. Actually, than actually, it's worth it, right? I'm sorry, that's the pork. That's the pork. <laughs> that's the veal. <laughs> I'm a chef, chef on I'm TV. I'm leaving it. Okay, okay. I'm leaving then, it in your hands. Then we have here. the pork. Okay, and then this is the there this is. is the beef. Yeah. See how it different that looks? Beautiful. Right? Beautiful. So we put that in there. Okay, and then we're gonna. And we got another thing. We're gonna use our hands, which is really cool. And then we're gonna add some cheese again. Same All thing right. as this yeah. Parmesan yeah. and. Uh... And then, I like to use fresh herbs. I really don't like to use dry herbs. So right here we have fresh oregano. Smell that. That smells it's really good. Yep. It smells really good. Yeah, and then fresh basil. Are uh, are herbs okay. uh, seasonal? And then, that's sorry. Well, that's no, not question. anymore. Back when when I was a kid, right. uh, you could not get fresh herbs during the day, during the winter time. Right. You had to basically use dry. So that was a bummer. But and okay, that's egg. A, that's an egg. And then this is the secret. This is what my grandmother told me: is take old bread and you soak it in milk. All right. Okay, so it's very moist, and then you you squeeze out the milk. Okay, and then you add the breadcrumbs after it's been soaking in the milk, and it really makes it moist. All right, and then you mix them up. Now, the other secret is not to make this and then cook it right away. 
What I like to do with the nanotomy is you make it during, in the morning and then you leave it in the refrigerator overnight. Put saran wrap over it, okay. plastic wrap, and then you let it sit overnight. And that way all the flavors get together. And then so you really you want to leave it rest because I, yes. I would make yeah. it and then I would cook it. I wouldn't yeah. think no, to it's leave not, it. it. I mean, you can do that if you're in a rush or something, right. or, you know, but it's better to let it go overnight. And then what we do is we, we, we cook them on the pan, you know, right. we, we saute them, and then we put them in sauce and soak them. In the sauce and cook leave them, yes, in the leave, pan, leave them in the, the pan, leave it, and you cook them for like another hour and a half, two hours, and that makes them so moist. I mean, they're just um, look at this right here, it's amazing. Right. No, I'm gonna try it. I think one of the things that folks do at home is they right. cook sauce in one pan, they cook their entree in another pan, right. and then the next thing you know, they just dump right. the sauce on the right. entree. Right. But really, it's about mixing your right. your entree into the sauce as Correct. you go, right? Right. right. All right, I'm and gonna try. And it really tenderizes the meat by. I'm gonna try these out. You've just yeah. put you just put a little yeah, cheese put, on yeah. top. You know what? I have some in here. I was just gonna take them out here. Oh, that looks great. Okay, see, this is how they come out. It's just so beautiful. I mean, they're just so tender. They look great. So they've been yeah. in the sauce. In the now. sauce. In this, in this sauce, it's even better because it's been soaking in, in with the meat. Okay? Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. A little more cheese on a little top. Cheese on top Let's of that. Try All right, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna get in there and see what we got. How do you know? Yeah, you should come in. You should come in and try this out, Ms. Lowe. Yeah. Audra yeah. Lowe's over there trying to work. I'm over here having lunch. All right, here we go. Oh. You know, see how soft they are? And how it's just so much flavor in it and they're it's so, so moist. Tender. Yeah, it's so moist. So good. Like a, over, buddy. Hello. She's Move like, get over. out of the way. And you no, you can find so this recipe on our website, bettertv.com.